Hello, hello, hello. My name is Hector. Welcome back to Sky Factory 4. Now, we are obviously, quite obviously, in the end. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. Having a good day. I've been flying around the end now for a while. I found uh, two, no, maybe two cities so far. This is the third. And finally, I found a ship, an end ship. So, what we're kind of having a look at today is this. I just literally got some thorium from uh, the Twilight Forest uh, and some cobalt and ardite, which is very easy for us to get now. But uh, one thing we need is travel deep into the end void to find an end city floating ship to obtain uh, some elytra. So let's have a look, I suppose. We might we might be unlucky. Um, I don't know. Can I don't know if these can be... I have no idea. It doesn't look like it. Oh, no, they, they can. They can and have. Um, let's first of all, let's first of all, let us take you. Because why not? Why not? So this uh, advancement isn't really, you know, it's not really a struggle. It's just literally uh, being a bit lucky, I suppose, in finding one of these. Now then, there's one here. And we are lucky. Oh, hey, oh, there we go. We are lucky. We have been lucky. Oh, got some shulker poles as well. Thank you very much. Boom. Excellent stuff. What more have we got? A anything exciting? Doesn't look like it. Uh, XP2 stuff. Um, that and that. No, nothing too exciting. But we have got some wings. That is quite exciting. I mean, you know, it's not hugely exciting, but it is exciting because that is a bit, a bit of a boring quest, really. So, uh, the next thing we need to have a look at is Dragon's Breath, miniaturization, the hunting dimension, and, of course, uh, an airship. We need to make an airship, which is cool because we now have a helipad, so that kind of makes sense. So, back to the overworld. The other day on stream, we finished our, like, cake display place the the patisserie it's not really a shop it's not really a shop so i i went a little bit overboard on chisels and bits uh since we kind of made our little factory island uh i've been getting into chisels and bits again which is you know it can be i love it i love the mod but oh my do you end up doing like so much like little bits and you can see here i've got all of this here all of that is chiseled I've done the same thing with the door i even chiseled like this vine uh so in here we can in here and we can see all the cakes in the game uh, are on display and all of these are just like normal edible cakes except for that one that's the overworld cake but we are in the overworld right now and then we've got the five um portal cakes uh, down here i made a bit of an error putting these two right next to each other and uh, you can't pick them up which is a bit of a shame can't like salt touch them um but we've we've got the hunting cake here so i just need to click on it and go to it and but i get the achievement so let's do that there we go. We've got we've got that. Uh, I got an overworld cake. There we go. And I don't really know what the hunting dimension is for. I don't really know what the point of it is in this sense. But let's just uh, do that. Exit. Bam. And that that will do us. I don't think we really need to do much about that. So that's another little thing done. So we've just got the fun things left to do now in the age of exploration. Right then, so putting popped chorus fruit into a mechanical squeezer gets us crystallized chorus chunks and this liquid chorus, which is what we need, basically. So I need two buckets. Do I have a... I've got one bucket here. Do I just have a regular bucket? Yes. There we go. Lovely. There we go. Can I just get that out? There we go. Lovely stuff. So, why do I need this? Well, we need this for the dragon's breath. So, dragon's breath. Two of those. And we need a glass bottle, fire charge, which is made thusly. There we go. And we need end crystals. End crystals are made like that. I'm guessing I might have to make... Oh, uh, is that sugar? Am I just missing sugar? Yes, we can make sugar. That is not a problem. Uh, nope. There we go. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. Lovely stuff. So we should be okay for making this. One, two, three, four. Just about. There we go. And I think... Oh, uh, what am I missing in the middle? There we go. Bam. Put you there. And there we go. Dragon's Breath. 
Yes, need a mint. There we go, Dragon's Breath. Now, I think one of the only things that we can use this, obviously, dragon bricks from ceramics, which looks just like more dragony. Oh, what's that? Ender Relic. Spawns a new Ender Crystal. Uh, might be dangerous to your health. Can also, oh, I have no idea what that is. Okay, so it does actually have some uses. Okay, I was wrong. Bottle of Enchanting. And then some sorts, and yeah, you can use it to get the Ender Dragon data model, which looks like you actually you actually immediately get a basic tier rather than a faulty tier, meaning you don't have to immediately kill uh, six Ender Dragons to get it to basic, which is pretty good. That's pretty good. So okay, we've got that. We need now. Lastly, we need to uh, get Compact Machines Dimension and make ourselves an airship. Ah, yes. Right then, on to compact machines. So I've built this random little looking structure uh, using the factory blocks, which we use for that, and laboratory blocks, which are the same sort of thing. If we look at them, um, if you make this one, there you go, stone and a bit of quartz, you get eight of those, which you can then chisel into various different things. Uh, and I've made this little thing. So I've also, to get started with compact machines, you need yourself two personal shrinking devices, which are made thusly, and then with one of those shrinking devices, you get four miniaturization field projectors. And this is very simple. So this is how it kind of works. You can see once I start placing that, and um, that's just the direction of placement. You want it to place like that. Now, what you want to do, and there's various ways of setting this up. You can make this a lot bigger if you if you so choose. But once you place down two like that, what you can do is you can see it then it tells you where else to place them, and uh, depending on how big it is. Now I think they're always going to be odd. I believe it's been a while since I've done this, um, but you can sort of mess around. Uh, once you get to a certain a certain um, bigness, I suppose. It kind of doesn't really matter making them a lot bigger. At least I haven't found it. And then you can see once we do that as well, it should. Oh, it hasn't done it. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. So it gives you options, basically. Uh, yeah, there you go. See that? So if you put one down, you can you can sort of get options as to where to do it. And once you have all four working and correct, you get this. And this is the field kind of miniaturization field, I suppose. So what do you do? in order to do this. Well, these are the actual compact machines. They can be done in several different ways. Now you can see basically 5x5x5 five by five by five is the biggest, that's the largest, and that's exactly how big this field is. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5x5 five five and 5 tall. So that's why it doesn't really make much difference to make it like a lot bigger than this, even though you can. Um, it doesn't really help you. So this is like all you need really. Uh, and you can see this might look a little strange, and you need these compact machine walls. How do you make those? Well, you need to put some iron uh, with some redstone. There you go. And then you need to chuck in some of that. So let's let's show you. Let's sort of teach. Uh, redstone we need. Bam. Uh, and some iron. Uh, do we have iron blocks? No, we don't. Let's just grab a stack. There we go. Lovely stuff. So let's have a look at that recipe again let's go back to compact machines and it's very simple once you once you get the hang of it it's pretty simple so you can see um block of that and redstone on top and then that so this is the output this is the things that you sort of need in the recipe and that's the thing that you throw into the actual recipe it's like in into the field itself so put that down there put that on top there and then throw that in and they, there you go. And that is how that works. It will do a lovely little, there you go. And we get 16 compact machine walls. So if we then look at that, you can see we need 26 of them. So you need to build basically a multi-block, a three by three by three multi-block uh, with the middle being empty uh, and then throw an ender pearl in. Now, if you look at the, you know, 
the big one, the biggest one, which it has an internal size of 13 by 13 by 13. I'm getting that by shifting, by the way. Uh, you need 98 of these. You need to make it 5 by 5 by 5, hollow in the middle, except for right in the middle, you need that block of emerald. And then again, you throw in uh, an ender pearl. So I'm going to make one of these a large one, and then I'll get back to you and show you how you get in and out of them. Right, so I'm building this up here. So it's a 5 by 5 thing. So first of all, I'm you just need to place that in there there we go so that remember that needs to go right in the center and then we just fill this up and there we go bam 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 and lastly you just have to chuck an ender pearl now obviously because this is five by five the miniaturization field is like right on it uh, so you just need to stand back and basically just throw it in there and there you go what we will get now is the largest size of the compact machines. Now, we do need uh, one more thing in order to interact with the machines themselves. Now, it's not really a machine. It's basically like a small room that is a different dimension that you can put stuff in and you can use to hide machines or do other things like that. Pretty much. Pretty much. So... You can see there's different different sizes. We've got the largest size, which is 13 by 13 by 13. And what we also need is a tunnel used to connect wall blocks with outside compact machine faces. There you go. And we have we have the maximum compact machine. So let's have a look at the tunnel. And uh, we need one of those. Um, okay, so one block. Bam. There you go. And this is sort of why I've decorated it like this. I t this is what I tend to do. Uh, I tend to have a 5x5 five five box and a 3x3 three three as well. And just so I can sort of see what I'm doing. And uh, then we need a hopper. And there we go. And then I didn't actually see what the, what the agent was to set off the change. Oh, it's just redstone. There we go. So a bit of that. Redstone. There you go. This also does it a bit weird seeing the redstone like that. Come on, do your thing. We should get two tunnels. Lovely stuff. And there we go. That is basically all we need. Now, we will need uh, our personal shrinking device. Where is it? Uh, device. Oh, I still have to. Oh, okay. It doesn't actually, there you go, to make the uh, field projectors, it doesn't actually use one of those. But never mind, that's okay. We have two spare. So you don't actually need to make two, you just make one. Um, it's been a while since I've used this mod. So let's just put this here for now. So you can move this around. Even when you've got stuff in it, you can move it around. So if you click on this now, you can see it just says unused because we haven't been in there yet. To get in there, we need to basically click on that. There we go. And you can now see we are in this world. Now, one of the first things you want to do is if you shift click, there you go, a, a point. That means that whenever we come into this um, compact machine world, basically, we will come in at this point. So just shift and click and you will get here. Now, you can basically put in whatever you want in here. You know, as long as it fits in here, you can put stuff in here and then you can at any point, click on the wall with your um, shrinking device, basically, and you can get out again. So what this is useful for is, like, doing a lot of machines. You can easily have, like, an entire, like, mechanism set up if you want. Like, all the stuff that we did last episode to make um, the HDP pellets. You could put in something like this and then just have all of this um, going on out here. And then just to the outside world, we can put one of these and basically that is a tunnel as you can see and if you keep clicking you can see where it goes to uh, and then you get it back so what this does that is going down that is going up so we'll leave it at up and if you remember you used to connect wall blocks with outside compact machine faces so that is set to up so remember that okay remember that and let us um i don't think i can i'm guessing i can't access this anymore no i cannot um Let's just put let's just put a little just a little structure in here just so that we can sort of see it. There we go. Let's go out. There we go. We are back here. And now when we look at it, there you go. You can see you can see everything that is inside. You can see that there. Um Oh, look at that. We can lock it. That is new. That is new since I last started that. So you can basically see, and I think you can actually, yeah, there you go. Left clicking and dragging it around. You can sort of have a look at it and you can see our little tunnel there as well. Now the tunnel, if you remember, was set to up. So what we should be able to do now 
is we should be able to connect it to that. Can I? There we go. And you can see that connects now up here because nothing, we haven't got a tunnel set to that side, the east side, which it very handily says, uh, it doesn't connect. But because we set the tunnel to up, it connects. And that you, there is also a tunnel for redstone as well, should you want it. And with this, you can basically connect um, cables, item, fluid, anything like that, uh, which is rather nice. Uh, let's have a look at the, there it is, the redstone tunnel. That's how you make that. And that is for redstone. So there we go. We've got another one of those. So the only thing that we need left to do is make ourselves an airship. Righty ho. So uh, we can see here the airship, the airship made of several components. You can't make these. And I, I presume that's because they're the higher tiered ones. And there's also an airship workbench as well like that. So let's maybe start by making the airship workbench. That should be fairly easy. Bam. There we go. Right. So leads shouldn't be too hard. There we go. Got that. Um, airship balloon. Yep, done. Uh, pistons, I'm guessing we need a few. There we go. Bam. One and two. Lovely stuff. This is going rather well. Uh, four. Okay, so minecart. So I presume that's like the actual little bit where we stand in. So we need a few of these. One, two, three, four. There we go. Lovely. And that's the, the airship core. Okay, I think I have that. Do I? Yes, I do. Converts fuel into energy that all ships can use. There we go. Right. Is that it? Is that it? No. What have I forgotten? Airship frame. Did I not make that? Haha. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Bam. Bam. Airship. Is that it? Yes. Look at it. Come fly with me. Has completed the challenge. Uh, all of that. So we literally have done most of the, the kind of normal things. Twilight Forest and the last tab, which is obviously a ridiculous tab, is the only things that we haven't really done yet. But there's still so much left to do in this mod pack. Uh, so I will be, I will be looking at some of that. <laughs> Thank you, Angel. Um, let's have a little look see at this. Oh, wow. That is rather fancy. Can we put that in there? I don't really know how. Ah, yeah, we can. That is a very, very fancy, um, workshop bench, I suppose. Let's have a look at this then. Um, can we pop that down? Oh, 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 there we go. Airship. There we go. Right. Um, how do I, oh, how do I do stuff? It's been a while since I've done this. Okay. Controls, I'm guessing. Um, down here somewhere. Do we have? Yes. Controls, all of these. Numpad eight, right. Uh, numpad eight. There we go. Right. So. We can upgrade all of the stuff. We can customize it. So I can give it a better name, of course. And then different. Ah, right. Cost of a hundred. A hundred. Oh, redstone. Okay. Um, I have played with this a while back. Um, but I didn't use it that much. I've got to say. So let me, let me faff around with this a little bit and see if I can come up with like a better. A better airship where we can actually, you know, use it to fly around because that's kind of the point. It's kind of the point of that. Ah, yeah. Look at me in my little airship. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So I've upgraded it a little bit. Oh, this is quite confusing. Let's do that. There we go. Um, I'm, I'm trying to, trying to go on my helipad. Uh, oh, there we go. Let's go over and let's. Oh, and I've got out. I've got out, but I sh that should fall down. Man, it's, it's yeah, it's it's a little bit finickety, but I, I've got there. I've got there in the, in the end, and you can see I've kind of I've changed a few things. It's now called the Nostromo. I've added the balloon. I've put an anchor on it. Why not? All of these things. There we go. So let me show you how I've done some of these things. So numpad eight. So upgrade, upgraded. I've upgraded all of these to just to one. So you put them in there and then that turns green. You click it and it goes in here. Uh, customization. You can do a few things. So for instance, the balloon, I've got the, the Wiesdenberg, um, balloon, which is that one. There's different versions and uh, like that. And like that, whatever. Uh, and it costs a hundred redstone, but you need to upgrade 
one of these first i can't remember maybe the core and um, because to begin with you can only put 50 redstone in so there's that that is a thing and you can see this, this is the fuel as well by the way um so once you customize it as much as you want you can then start adding some modules like all of this and i've put in lesser altitude um speed and don't think about the I know it says lesser altitude. What it actually means is more altitude, but um, it's just a lesser upgrade. There's like a lesser and then medium and then the greater. Uh, and I've, I've got the greater fuel efficiency on at the moment. You can see that's here. It's, so it's a bit weird. You can only, I think, do like one at a time. So there you go. I've got that one now. Um, but I'm guessing that's because I've only got like a... I, if I upgraded more, I imagine I could have more slots up here for different things. So you can see this is going through fast. Like even when I'm not using it, it is it is working. So that's basically that is basically how this works. Um, so let me get out again. There we go. I've got that. You can do that to your heart's content and do all of the things. I I, I quite like that. I quite like the look of this. Like it looks. What I say? Like it looks pretty cool. Like, it's a very cool little airship, um, I've got to say. I might see if we can upgrade it a little bit more. But that is going to be all we have time for for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you're still enjoying it. Uh, and I think next few episodes, we need to get a little bit more power going. Power is a, a definite thing that we need to sort out. Auto crafting is a thing that we need to sort out. And then, of course, we also um, we also need to have a look at a few other different mods that aren't necessarily in the advancement tabs. There's a few that I definitely want to check out, so we'll be doing that as well. Thank you so much. I've been Hector. This has been Sky Factory 4. Do the like and comment and subscribe to the thing if you fancy. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.